When should I use Conquer or Electrocute? It just depends on one, team comp, and two, oh, preference, my. right? Uh, this game, I feel like Electrocute is better overall because, I mean, I'm versing a double squishy bot lane. I, I don't really count Pike as a squishy champ. Later on in the game, he will be. Minions I doubt he's going to build a Hex Drinker this game. Or, I mean, we have double AP in jungle. jungle. That's about it. But uh, I find him pretty tanky in lane. I, I feel like there's no keystone that you can really run against a Pike mid that will allow you to beat him. It's Pike mid, man. The champion is just like meant to counter Katarina. He has CC, he has damage. Uh, if you do damage him at all, eventually, you know, he can just walk away out of vision or go in W and he heals it all back up. Like, Pikes nowadays, dude, they just start longsword in the Katarina. No, back then, people would start fucking D shield. They would go D shield with like second wind on Pike. On top of having their passive and. They would just not take damage. Like, I have to respect him so much here because he has Q start. So what's going to happen since he has Hail of Blades and Longsword start? If I walk up and he's able to just Q me, I have no way of getting out, right? So not only does the Q pull me towards him, it also slows me afterwards. So it ensures that he's able to get the, the Hail of Blades autos off. So if I get hit by a Q, pretty much he's going to auto me three to four times. Guaranteed. So I will lose around... 300 health, I would say. Definitely half my health at level 1 if you get hit by a Q. So you have to be really careful when you're playing in this lane. And he just RNG TPs, gets the first blood kill. So how do you win this lane? Uh, short answer, you don't. Um, but it's just how you, it's, this is how you play Katarina in general, is you, you lose a lot of your matchups, if not all of them. Uh, and then eventually you become strong. Hopefully. You hope that you can find random kills somewhere on the map. Do a bit of damage to that guy. He failed his Q. But yeah, realistically, you, you don't really do anything to the pike. I mean, I, I just can't really poke him. Sixty-two damage, but he's gonna heal it all back up. He don't give a fuck. But yeah, just keep that in mind for a lot of Katarina's matchups. I mean, we've talked we've been talking about Katarina matchups like all day. And saying how like you lose every single lane if your laner just plays well. Um I like it. But yeah. It's just another one of those lanes where there there should be no way that you ever kill the pike. You know, even if the pike is like some like 80-year-old grandma that's never even touched a computer before, like she could probably kill you with auto attacks, you know what I mean? Ready for trouble. So, it's like, it's really hard to play this kind of lane. Well, it's not necessarily hard, it's more like you can't really do anything. It's it's just aggravating. For me, it's aggravating, because I hate just not being able to do anything. Well, I'm lagging. Dude, I have like 190 ping. Whoa, I have a hundred ping right now. What the fuck is happening? Nice. Clean dive. Very clean. Face here, grab blasting ones. All right, well now we have four kills. That's that's lit. We can carry this game. I mean, their team comp's kind of fucked. It might be really hard for me to. Oh, oh fuck, dude. He almost killed me with that Hail of Blades. Hail of Blades into the ultimate. I'm on my way, guys. Oh! Oh! Eight kills. My wave's kind of doomed. I can't do anything about that. Guys, I'm 8-0-0. And the sad thing is, I, I still don't, like, 
think that I can 1v9 against their champs. It's kind of hard. They have a lot of CC, a lot of instant CC. Keep in mind. Well, not instant, but basically instant. Oh, on my way. So when you have this kind of lead on Katarina, you just want to make it to every single fight imaginable. You're so fast, you're so fed, you know. We got the fucking... On my way, bot. Ten kills. I'll go clear this. I gotta tell my Riven not to get her hopes up, dude. Like, you don't expect me to 1v9 the game. Yes, I have ten kills of Katarina, but I'm Katarina. That's the part you're forgetting. Hecarim got my bounty. It's okay. I'm literally going to stopwatch next item, by the way. Like, the only way I die this game is, like, something like that, where... Like, I just don't have enough damage to kill him fast enough, or I get CC'd. And she maybe? No, I just need my Zhonya's. I need my full Zhonya's. ASAP, bro. Once I have my full Zhonya's, maybe it'll be winnable or playable for me. But for now, it's just it's just so absurd, dude. How strong Lux and Seraphine are. Banshee's must be, be like the B-spot item in S11. Yeah, it literally is, unless you're versing like 4 AP. Which then like maybe it's viable to go Banshee's. Right, I got my Zhonya's. I, I can stop being a pussy now. I have uh, a stasis. So I can actually jump in. We should win this fight. Let's go start this. Oh, it's just the worst feeling when people can walk on Katarina daggers and I just can't go on them. You know, even though I'm fed, I have 12 kills, I just can't go on them. It's just not possible. Only fools hesitate. Okay. That's good. The Seraphine decided not to hit R immediately. because I got the shields and I got the triumph. Nice. All right, now, now it's looking good for us again. We we're able to win that team fight. I got my 10 sacks on the Jais again, so I'm running a bit faster. And the sad thing is, like, no matter how hard we shoot on the pike, by the way, he's still gonna do what his champion does regardless, which is just sit there and then clean up with R. That's all he needs to do anyways, and he gets his team free gold. <laughs> It doesn't matter how far behind he is. I mean, look, he has 63 farm at 20 minute, 21 minutes, bro. He's not even playing mid at this point. He has one item. He's not playing mid lane. Doesn't fucking die. You're kidding me. How do I not kill the Seraphine? Okay. Void Staff has to be our next item. I'm running Lich Bane, the second item, and I'm loving it. Yeah, it's good, right? I like it. It feels really nice. But yeah, we have to get the Void next, because this guy's going uh, Mikhail's, I believe. Because for some reason, that item builds out of a fucking Negatron Cloak, and it gives you 50 MR as a support. 
Because yes, mages weren't already bad enough. We should make it so supports can uh, get some MR in their build. Enchanter supports, actually, so they can't die. You know, on top of the all the shielding and everything they do, we also can't kill them. So that's great. So we have to build Void Staff here. Uh, this guy's got a Hex Drinker now. And this guy's going Visage. What are you going to build after Void, though? I mean, if anything, I'm just going to end up selling my Magi's for a Lich Bane or a Nashor's Tooth. Probably a Nashor's Tooth with it being this late in game. Or even just a Banshee's. I don't I don't even fucking know, man. Honestly. Probably a, a Nashor's Tooth. I mean, that's probably going to give me the most damage possible this game. Nice, we're level 16. Got a rank 3R. It does 2400 damage, actually. Uh, I'll give that guy the red. I think it's going to be better on the Twitch than on me, honestly. He's going to be hitting more anyways, probably. I'm just... My job this game is to jump into them, do a little bit of damage, and go into Zonya's and pray to the LP gods that someone on my team kills someone while I'm in my Zonya's and I get a recess. And I, I can't really count myself getting Magi stacks anymore. That time is... Time is gone. Let's go. Okay, now here's what we can do. We can sell our sword shoes for Lich Bane. Grab a Lich. Grab a blue elixir. Oh my god, 834 AP. If we're iron elixir? Nah, bro. I ain't no bitch. Oh, we're listening to NF the search. So the song doesn't actually start for the first 40 seconds. That was a really good implementation uh, record label. Good job, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, we're literally full build. I mean, we can't get any stronger than this. We have six full items, man. Yo, guys, you know it's season 11 when you got six full items as an AP champ with fucking Baron buff and Elixir, and you aren't at 1k AP yet. Only an S11, man. Wow, one Shampoo does 1100 damage to creeps. That's unreal. It's just with the Lich Bane proc too. Lich Bane does 542 damage right now. Nashor's is 202. That's crazy. We just auto this once. <laughs> 1100 damage. Nice, got triple in hip. We can win this game. We got this. My FPS is getting a little bit fucked. I don't know why. I can look for an all in here soon. No going back. Oh man. Oh, okay, that was a that was not a fun game. That was stressful. Dude, that game should have been over so early on. I had eight kills. It just felt like I couldn't do anything. I had ten kills. I was 10-0. It just felt like I couldn't do anything to anyone. That entire game. Just because of their team comp. Good job, Ivern, on shielding me, man. <laughs> 